Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. Okay, we're going to work on her a little bit. As you can see, I already uh, put this piece down. And I did a little darker in her hair. I just took a little bit more of the dark scarlet. And I just ran it closer to her face, like around here, just for more dimension. Um, so, I'm thinking... I'm going to take this color pink, I don't know, and run it, we'll see, and run it through just to give a little bit of, um, a little bit lighter of a look. I'm going to do a little teeny piece, I mean, that's light, but I'm going to do a little teeny piece and see, and then if not, um, you know, we'll go on to something else. I just kind of want like some, Kind of like curls, but that. Highlights. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna put a little water in here and then do a dab to lift up. Okay. I have to always remember to do the paper towel. Because right, this side, obviously, I like this side. I was like, girl, come on. I was getting a little excited. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit more water and just kind of see what I can get here. I can always paint over it, but that was a little heavy-handed. I really like that. Why couldn't you have done it? Maybe I'll just leave it like that. Let me just give it a swipe. Okay, because I can always go in with, you know, back with darker. I'm not too worried about that. I just wanted a little bit of swirls, a little bit of swirls. Why does it have to be so hard? Maybe it should be a little darker of a pink. Let's try a different color. Let's try this color, the bright pink. I'm going to give it a shake because it's multi-surface. What does that mean? It means that it goes on any surface you want. Okay, I'm going to dip just the tip. I don't know. I know I'm quiet because I'm thinking. I just want it through. That might be too dark. I mean, too much. So I just want it like randomly through. You know what I mean? Like, I'm cool with this. This, I don't know what I'm also going for. And then she dips again. <laughs> Just little like little waves. Yeah, right, and this all right. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of the light, just a little bit of just the tap. And kind of run it through like that. Just to kind of bring it from the other side. See how it's like, oh, the wind's blowing in my hair. I'm like very like loving Stevie Nicks today. You see what I'm saying? She keeps going in. I need somebody here to be like, stop. 
Okay. Okay. I think that's where I'm going to stop on that one. Because <laughs> I really, you know, I don't want too much down here because that's where it's dark. So I'm going to take a little bit more of my darker color. And I'm going to dip just the tip. That's what she said. He said. Somebody said. And I'm just going to kind of like run it just to break that up a little bit. See what I'm saying? Just to break that clump up. Come on there, clump it. Break it up. Yeah, I probably should have dried that first. That's all right. How do you, you know, you just do things, right? And then you do them and then you're like, oh, I should dry that first. Okay. Still can't get this lighting right. All right. Let's dry it. And you see down here, I didn't go. All the way down to the bottom, I should have. So that's another thing. I'm going to leave that dry. See how it kind of just a little bit, just some something. I don't know. I don't know if I like it, but I'm going to have butterflies or stars or something going on. So she's my star child. Okay. So I'm going to take some black. Where's my black? I know I had it sitting here. You can't copyright me for that one because I made it up and I know you wouldn't have known that I made it up. But I did. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. So, <clears throat> some black. Oh, I'm going to choke because I sang <clears throat> and I was being sassy. Alrighty. We are going to go in for our pupil. Some pupil action. Which sometimes I like to use a marker. <laughs> a black marker like a fabric Castell. Because it's much easier for me with my hands, but I'm just going to do a dot in the middle and then I just kind of go around. And that's where I'll start. I know she looks like she's wide eyed and bushy tailed, but that's okay. I don't know why I pretended to. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to do it again. That's how I do it. Unless I'm doing like a sleepier eye, like where I'll go there. Oh gosh, Kel. You know what I mean? So, and watch, cause if this is wet, you get it on your hand like this and then I'll touch it and then I'll be upset with myself. And I'll just do like little dots. Like that. And then I'll do it here. And I'm going to be honest with you. Oops, see, I made that one over too far. You're going to see she looks a little crooked eye. I'm going to be honest. I've redone eyes, this part of eyes, a million times because um, I don't know. I, I, I should have just got the marker out. Maybe that's what I'll do anyway. I'll just like pat this up a little bit with some water. Sorry, this is my process. This is why I don't record this. Because sometimes I'm a mess. And then I'll just go in and dab. And do the same here. Make sure you keep washing your brush if you do these things because um, you don't want to just keep putting it dirty. Uh-oh, she's magic. Okay. Ah, yeah. See? Almost all gone. And then I'll just rinse it one more time and just see what else I can get off there real quick. This one, I'll lay my brush down. Oh, somebody's doing something out there with a the chainsaw or something. Okay. That'll be good because I can just go touch up the eye. 
uh, with more green and then we're good to go. Rinsing that brush. I'm gonna go in with a little, I'm gonna put that black away. How about it? It's gonna go away for now. I'll just take a little bit of my green and just kind of freshen the eye up and let it dry and then I'll go in with. I am somebody who needs an eraser and sometimes will erase or paint over or do whatever I have to do because I just can't always get it right. Yesterday I was having a really hard time processing. Like my brain was, and maybe somebody can relate to this. I want to say wasn't firing on all cylinders, but I couldn't get thoughts that were to my brain, to my like head, if that makes sense. Like I just, nothing was connecting and like things I've done a million times. I was like, why can I not do this today? So I don't know what was going on. Today's not too much better, but sometimes it happens and I don't want to not do art because of that. So I erase or I do something different, you know? So that's how I roll. Some people are really good and don't have to erase or, you know, I wish I need to take advantage of, uh, more of like printouts. Cause I know like I can't really f just sit and normally paint certain things, but you know, I know that there are people on the, I don't know, that, you know, have printouts and that kind of thing that you can kind of trace along. I know I just, to me, it's like an extra step. I don't want to do, even though I should, do you know what I mean? Okay. So I have that, but I'm going to hit this with the heat gun so I don't touch it with my hand. And maybe, let me see. Oh, I can't get into more markers. Come on, markers. No, everything's piled on top, which is pretty, pretty accurate for the, my life. <laughs> everything's just piled on top. Hmm. What do I have here? I have my Zig, which is waterproof. Let me double check. It's archival. Kurataki pigment photo self. Yep. Okay. Let's try this again, shall we? Maybe this time. Oh, see, I hate when I do this to myself. I should have just stuck with what I was doing, but I'm not going to, because why? Let's do, I wonder if I can, sometimes chalk won't right on top of. I don't want it to rip up because it's not all the way done, but I just kind of want to put it in so I can, that's what she said. Got so many of those good jokes today. Oh, we're going for it. Okay. It'll have to be a little thicker on the bottom, but I'm not going to mess with that too much at the moment until it's dry. Because what I'll do usually is in my head, like, oh, I'm drawing a circle, you know? Because they're always round. Unless you're doing an odd girl, and then that case, she's not. In that case, none of this matters. You just do your thing. Because it's your thing. Do what you want to do.
But honestly, once you put highlight in and all that kind of stuff, you'll be fine. So this one, I got to do a little bit more, but that's okay. So I'm going to put my chalk thing back. I'm going to turn it this way and I'm going to line her eyes a little bit with this. I, I just, I'm a really lover of black eyeliner, like black. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say this is illustrated cause it's not, but I just love that outline. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And then I like to outline. You don't have to. And because I'm on wood, nothing's straight, you know, cause you got little boopies in there, but nobody cares about a boopy. Have a boopy if you want. And I can fix all that with eyeshadow, you know, like putting a color on for eyeshadow and all, and then putting a little highlight there. So it looks like it's the rim of her eye. Not going to worry about that too much. Maybe we'll see if I can get that little boopy off right there without causing too much problems. Suck up, baby, suck it up. Yes, and I'm going to wet it one more time. I'm going to dry it one more time. Just have it damp. And clean up on that. Oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. That's because she doesn't learn to stop. She keeps going and going, never leaves it alone. She's always fussing and fussing and doing it over. Walk away, Kel. I'm walking away. I'm walking away. I'm not going to worry about it. I can, I can futz with it and fix it after it's dry. It has to dry. My goodness. Okay. What do I have here? I have some pink. It's a big marker. These are permanent. I love these. Let me tell you something. Now that school, like they're selling school supplies and all, go buy your Sharpies and your Bix. They come in the big packs. You can use a coupon at the AC Moore, Michaels, wherever, Staples, all those kind of things. The Bix are permanent. The Sharpies are permanent and they're fantastic. You can make your alcohol uh, ink. Is that what it's called? Alcohol ink. You can, uh, you know, draw do everything. It's permanent. They write on everything. They're really... They're really nice and worth having. So I'm going to go in and just lay a little bit of this. This is the fine tip because I got these to draw with. And if I wasn't being so lazy, I would take everything off my drawer to get my fabric castells, but I'm not. I'm a little lazy. I just want to add a little bit of color. like that. And I'm going to do it over here. Come on, sister. Come on, see us. Let's work. Now I'm working on wood, as you can hear. So it's going to probably not keep the nib firm because it's a fine tip marker, but a regular one, you know, you get a little bit more sturdy. I think, I don't know. Don't quote me. Okay. But you see how it just made the eyes pop a little. I know we don't have any eyebrows. I know. I know. I know there's some finagling to do, but it's all right. I'm not hating it because this is the best I can do today. 
That's just the way it is. I'll make this a little fuller. Put a little pink here. Okay. All right. Just putting a little bit there because I'll go in, like I said, with white. I'm sorry. I'm very in my head today and I do apologize, but I can't help it because it's just the way I am. So I'm going to take this Stadler Lumicolor permanent. These are so nice. These come in a kit too. And I stole this from Emily. So I'm going to go in very lightly with a pencil, regular pencil, because me and eyebrows aren't really good friends. Neither are, are me and eyelashes, but we're going to play and we're going to try. So I'm going to kind of go here and it goes up like three ways, three quarters, and then down a little bit. And then kind of the same up and down. And as the makeup, beauty guru say eyebrows are sisters not twins okay so just remember that sisters not twins then i'm gonna go in with this and i'm gonna just kind of and then i like to come back a little bit and make it a little thicker these are kelly's 80s 90s brows okay and I would do anything to have those back because I did this to my eyebrow. I think that might even be my actual eyebrow. I'm not going to lie. And, um, yeah, let's just say it's not really the best right now. They don't grow back as much as my leg hair does. Unapologetically, I'm using big words and everything. I got more leg hair than I know what to do with and other where elsewhere. All right. So that's a right. It's a right. She got her eyebrows. This one I want to bring out a little bit more. Okay. And I'm just going to like, Not like necessarily a solid line, but just a little bit to outline it. You know what I'm saying? I love this marker. I hide this marker from myself because I don't, um, I wonder if I can get that up. It's really bothering me. And honestly, oh God, Kelly, <sighs> this is killing me here. It's supposed to be permanent, but because I'm working, oh, it looks like it's a smoky eye. Because I'm working on multi-surface, and this is a good tip. Multi-surface uh, is gloss. It has gloss in it. So you want to um, pay mind to that. You know, your inks and all that will take longer to dry. Because you're working on a slick surface rather than... A regular one you know like a flat one or canvas okay all right maybe i should do this one a little bit too let's smudge that out this side won't smudge out right okay i'm gonna do that i'm gonna tap I'm gonna grab gonna dry I'm gonna grab this is why I have no nice clothes because I'm drying on my shirt because I am wearing my art shirt and what does that mean it means every shirt I wear is my art shirt number one 
and number two, yeah, see, I can go back in there and with paint and just touch all that up. I'm not worried about that. All right. Draw, draw. Okay. All right. Now, let me show you. Where is it? I swear I had it sitting here. Oh, girl, girl, girl. Oh, my circle template. I know I had it sitting here, but I'm going to show you some. So you see how I did the uh, black parts where they pupils. So if I lay this, like, let's say right here, it would be like that full circle. See how it has like the full circle goes up there. I'm going to take this and just go in and completely not go up to the eye where the other, you know, like on the lid, but just to kind of finish out that. And you can see how much better it looks. And I'm going to do the same over here. I can see. Okay. And it just finishes that circle a little bit. Why are you not looking? Did my marker not work? Well as I wanted it to. Okay. But this this thing is I, I'm gonna I told you I'm gonna grab a couple and do a giveaway. Anyway, so I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna find this Stadler. Uh this is a Stadler permanent. I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna link this down below. I don't know if you could buy it separately or not. I'll either put the kit or down below if you're interested in these. I love these. I gotta steal them. All right, so I might even use those for eyelashes. I don't know. So for this next one, I want to do this as her headband before I really finish much else. But I wanted to get the eyebrows done because um, okay, how am I going to do this? Do I? Because it has the leaf in between. I guess I can lay it. It's just going to be because I really like that. Oh, she's going for it. Okay. Yeah. Clip. Whoop. Boop. Okay. You're gone. I was feeling real confident there. And what happened? You're gone. I was going to do that. You're gone like that, but it didn't work out. It never does. And then, so I want this in the middle and then these are gone. This is when they get a hold of my scissors, my family. And I find them in the junk drawer. And these are my good Fisker um, nonstick. And I don't know if they cut trees with them. I don't know what the heck they did with them. But I got them back. Okay. So. Now, listen. This is a fantastic thing. I might. It might just come somewhere else in the picture. I don't know. Who am I to say? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide what way I want it to sit. And I want the leaves kind of in the middle. And it's weird because she's not really middle. All right, and I don't necessarily want it on her eyebrow. So that's what I'm going to do. But I got to cut that little boopy off on the end there. I see nobody wants the boopy on their head. So I'm going to curve it that way. And then I have this little drive me nuts. And then, okay, so I'm going to do that. So all I'm going to do is go in here with, I don't know if I want tight and buff or I want, oh, I might go in with some tight and buff. Tight and buff's going in. I love tight and buff. That's the problem. But it's going to be beige, but I'm okay with that, I think, because I don't want it to be so peachy. And I probably should have put a little glaze with it. Maybe I should. Let's get some glazing medium. And I'm going to get some. Let's see if I can get this to glaze out. What the heck is that? 
Get off there, you disgusting looking thing. Let's see if we can glaze this before it dries. Bring it down here. Come on. Du -du -du. I apologize, I'm not talking. Sometimes I don't breathe when I do these things. I'm going to leave, do I want to leave that? I don't know. I want this side a little darker, so I might, I might leave that. I have to see when this part's dry. Yeah, I like that a million times better. So I'm going to just keep going. I'm going to keep living that dream of some Titan buff and glazing medium. I'm going in. Should I have gotten a smaller brush? You be the judge of that. Probably. Because you know what I'll do? I'll screw it up. Those things I can fix right when I'm done. And then I'm going to, I'm not going to worry too much about how much, like I said, this isn't, I'm not doing a portrait of somebody. I'm just painting, painting a picture for myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I am going to take a little bit more of Titan buff. I'm going to boop, boop, boop. And clean that up a little bit. It's driving me a little bit bananas there. So I might as well just do the same here. Okay. Yeah. And then that little piece I got to do. Okay. All right. I like her better. With that base color. All right. Now that I talked myself through instead of doing a video for you guys. Oh, I love it so much better. Okay. I'm so glad I did that. Titan buff, ladies and gentlemen. Titan buff. Oh, God. This is getting a long video. So I'm going to dry this. I want to also um, glue this on before the last video I do on this to where she's done. You know what I mean? So I want it like this. Who are you talking to, Em? Oh, that's your side. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my favorite. I don't like the company, but I like this. <laughs> They're not very friendly, very friendly company to me. All right, so I'm just going to, I'm going to tack this down. Now, 
what that means is I may go over it with some Mod Podge when I'm done, when it's dry, or I may not, but this is going to let it go on and then I'll probably go from there. So this will show more. I mean, uh, glue sticks are a phenomenal thing. Go to the, I'll, I'll put this down on link below. If you guys want to support me, uh, I get a couple, very little bit, but every bit helps. If you guys buy anything from my links down below, um, I get a very small percentage of it, but let me tell you, it helps with medical bills and stuff like that and medication. So know that you guys are really, you know, helping me and watching my videos and all that kind of stuff. You guys are helping me so much. So thank you. And thank you to everybody who's bought so far from my Amazon link. You guys rock. Yeah. Yeah. I'm digging that. I don't know if I need some glitters on there. So everything is wet, still and dry, going to dry, but I like it. And you know what I like about this? And I, I, I don't know when everything's done, how much I'll like it. I might put some, um, like some glitter, you know how I have my Mod Podge super glitter or iridescent glitter. I might put some on there just to kind of do something. I, I don't know, but, um, I just love it. Cause when you look at it, like these aren't like so apparent, but it gives it some texture that I really love. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to let her dry and then tomorrow I'll probably put up the last bit of her. Um, I, I just love that you guys sit with me and, and, you know, listen to me babble and all that kind of stuff on these things that I usually sit here and do by myself. I don't even record, um, you know, and I have a lot of paintings cause I'm doing, putting a lot of paintings up on Etsy. So, um, you know, so I really like you guys sitting with me. So as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. And I will see you in my next video for this. I can't believe one, what video three. So the last one will be the last video. Um, and I'm digging her. I'm not, I'm not hating on her. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.